Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. I'm going to forego the introduction because if you've been to my channel at least once or twice, you've heard it all. I do hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. And as you saw from the description, I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul. Now, I have to say, I actually set out to do a shop with me today. And when I got to Dollar Tree, realized I'd left my phone at home. That bugs me so much. But anyway, I thought, okay, I'm just going to go see what they have. There were some basic things I knew I needed to pick up, and I'm feeling a, a hiccup. Why? 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 Why does that happen? It's got to be some kind of a nervous thing, although I don't feel like I'm nervous, yet I hiccup every single time I, the camera goes on. Anyway. All right. So I knew I was going to be picking up some of the basic cleaning things that I've seen some other people hauling things I've used before so let me find those and I didn't organize these very well but um, first of all I picked up the totally awesome mold and mildew stain remover and this is huge 32 ounces fast acting totally awesome has been a um, a wonderful product that I have had zero complaints about I don't have any complaints and then I got this uh, LA's Totally Awesome Foaming Bathroom Cleaner with Bleach. Removes soap, scum, dirt, and tough stains, cleans, and deodorizes. So I picked those up because I love that brand. And then I've seen um, Catherine of Do It On A Dime and I believe Marie of Crafty Girl. Both of them have talked about this particular glass cleaner and I picked up two of them. It is the Chase's Home Value Glass Cleaner with Ammonia. This is a foaming glass cleaner from what they tell me and that it's hard to come by. That once it goes in, it flies off the shelf. And in actuality, I had to move a few things aside. Um, they had several cans that looked exactly like this, but one was like furniture polish, one was a disinfectant, one was an all-purpose cleaner and so I was moving and saw these in the back so I grabbed two of these in order to you know have a supply because my glass cleaner was fast almost gone so I wanted to you know get those things pulled up let me see if I got what else is in here oh yes and I did pick up the fragrance booster for the laundry i believe marie of crafty girl i'm gonna smell this i think she's the one i first heard talk about this oh that's really nice and so i'm not sure how much you put in here let me what does it say let me read the directions first oh instructions pour a little for a touch of added freshness or up to two-thirds of a cup for freshness that lasts pour directly into the drum before adding laundry okay all right I'm game I'll try it I'll see I mean I like a nice fresh fragrance and that's definitely fresh that was really good okay I also found these and I picked up three because I wanted to try these. It's a Lysol product. I always love finding the name brands. Two weeks of freshness. This is Atlantic Fresh Scent. And these are clips. You put them on the bowl of the toilet. And I guess when the water flushes, it provides that fresh scent. I've got three toilets in my house. And so I'm going to try this to see. I've tried the products. I think it was Tidy Bowl or something that you're supposed to put in the tank. And no, that wound up corroding the little rubber stopper that lifts up when you flush to allow the water to rush into the, t to the bowl. I'll never do that again. But this, I think, is nice. I, it says two weeks. So we'll see. We'll see if, it, if I think it's worth a rebuy. But they also had it in lavender scent. So let me show that. Okay. If I don't know how much product 0.91 ounces so it's almost an ounce of product and then you can see the clip there looks pretty easy to just clip on the side of the bowl and the instructions on the back are pretty clear yep so, all right. 
there's that. I also picked up, my granddaughter's coming this weekend, so I picked up some more juice. I like keeping, although she, the last two packs of juice I bought for her, I want to say was in November. So these last a while because she's little and that's enough for, I don't give her juice, juice, juice all the time, but when she wants it, this is another two month supply, I guess. All right, let's see what's next. Okay. All right, we'll go in here. Uh, I did find, this is really cute. I'm always about games and things like this. And my granddaughter is learning games, although this is for six and up but I'll just let her play with them. It's these Happy Family and Old Maid. I did get an Old Maid game, but it was like super confusing. It, did, it wasn't like where you're looking for, like this one says Spaceman Astronaut. In fact, let me open this just so I can make sure it's what I think it is because it was really weird. It was like there was a princess and a butterfly that went together. And I was like, is this the right game? Did they put the right thing in there? But then I saw it was labeled Old Maid. And I was like, this makes no sense. I expected two princesses and two knights or, you know, but it was animals. And so, oh, yeah, this looks like it's a good one. Okay. And it looks like it's written in two languages. Looks like it's in Spanish. I mean, excuse me, French and English. Okay, so you have businessman, I think that's French, oops, excuse me, spaceman, astronaut, oh, knight means chevalier, that must be French, policier, yes, but these are cute. Fireman is Pompier. Lumberjack Boucheron. <laughs> okay, this is cute. All right, so I'm happy. And I'm actually doubly happy because there's another language on there that I think is always good to introduce and expose kids to languages. Although my daughter is a Spanish teacher and her papa is from Mexico City, her grandpa, her other grandpa, um... She'll be exposed to Spanish for sure, but this is a great way to also do the French. And let's see this. I know it's a card game and you're you're supposed to be getting the families back together again. So that's what it says on the back. Help the nine families get back together. Ask other players if they have seen the characters you are missing to help you make the full family. Collect as many happy families as possible to win. So it sounds a little bit like Go Fish. You know, like you're trying to, uh, let me see, I'll read the instructions later, but look. Oh, here we go. All right, so you have, yeah, it's almost like fish. So Mark, get well, Marie, get well, Mike, get well, and Mia, get well. And then you have Henry Bale, Hillary Bale, Haley Bale, and Harry Bale. So, yeah, these are, and then you have the Tex, the Fit family, and there's four people per family. How cute. And they're color-coded. This is adorable. Okay. I'm definitely going to be playing this. This is definitely like a Go Fish or, um, you know, because don't you remember playing that? But you have to have four. So that's cute. All right. Score. I'm happy with those. All right. And I also went over to the Barbie section, you know, because I'm a crazy Barbie girl. And I picked up... I found another, a different backpack. Okay, these are the Chelsea backpacks. The two that I previously purchased, one was a sleepover backpack that came with different accessories. And there was a back to school backpack that had three different accessories. And this one is the on the go backpack. Now, believe it or not, there's more than just two varieties. You see how these are the same objects, but different colors. They actually had more. I don't know how many they have, but I saw one that had a green. This was green and this was silver and that was, um, uh, or this was silver and that was pink. I mean, they just did a whole 
you know, section. I don't know how many, but I just grabbed these two because she has about four or five Chelsea dolls. She's got four that are here at my house and she's got one at her house. So this will make all of them having their own little backpack, which, you know, I'm sorry. She plays, I play with her. So <laughs> I have to, I just have to, I still have my eye out because I've seen other people hauling or doing shop with me's and they pass by this section super fast and I'm seeing more than the shoe sets and the jewelry and accessory sets that we've been seeing in our stores. I've seen like, it looks like place settings and food and I didn't see these, but now these are here. So I'm hopeful that we're going to have more different variety packs coming out with Barbie accessories. I mean, the increase should put us there. You know, I did get <clears throat> this um, keto low carb delicious recipes uh, cookbook. And <clears throat> I'm always uh, going low carb and coming off of sugar is how I lost 70 pounds. And I stalled for the whole of 2021. And over the holidays, I'd say starting in November, I got into some bad habits of, oh, sure, I'll have the cupcake. It's just this. And oh, sure, I'll have some pie. <laughs> oh, sure, I'll have some bread. You know, and... um I'm not even going to go near the scale, but I know I have to have put on some weight. I have been mindful, but I know I have to have put on some weight because I've eaten, I've allowed myself to eat things that I haven't eaten for a year. And my body adjusted from the shock, which initially when I ate it in November, early November <clears throat> at the my high school reunion, I ate small quantities, but I still ate it because that's all they had. I couldn't, anyway, I thought... This isn't going to be that big of a deal. My body felt like I'd been hit by a car. I was aching from head to toe. And then my body, my body adjusted. And now it's like asking me for it. Oh, give me the chocolate. Give me this. Give me that. So I'm like, nope, I'm getting back on track. And so these are some recipes for some hot meals. These are really good. I love that there's full color pictures with these. And uh, what was that? Bread? Hold on. Keto bread. Oh, almond flour, which I have. I have all this stuff. I could totally make this. Hopefully it's soft and moist and worth my time. <laughs> and then I picked up this book. This is a, this is called Miracles from Heaven. This was actually made into a movie that stars um, Jennifer, Ben Affleck's wife, or ex. She's in it, and this is the true story of a little girl who fell from a tree and wound up in that fall getting healed or cured from some horrible thing that she had. Uh, when I worked at CBN, we did a testimony story on this, and it's incredible. And I was like, whoa, the book. I'm going to get the book because I love to read. I also picked up um, one of these little Etch-A-Sketch doodles. I thought I would put this in my granddaughter's little purse that she has that she can carry around so that if we're in the car, she can pull this out and just draw on it. So I thought that would be fun. It's the perfect size for a little purse. And then I did find this Barbie color book. I am a Barbie girl dressed to dazzle. I don't think I have this one. And if I do, then I'm sending this home with her. But it's got some cute pictures. I mean, look at that. These are nice images to color. See, these are so cute. Very pretty. And, oh, look, there's that picture on the back. Okay, I did go over to the baby section. Oh, I did pick up another one of the sleepover packs. It's the green backpack. See the nail polish, the teddy bear, and the little hairbrush. So there's that. I thought I'd had another one. I went to the baby section, and I picked up two sets of these socks. I got these for my granddaughter's baby doll. Um, she's got one of the, it's one of the big baby dolls that they have in Walmart for $10. It's just nothing but, she calls her angel baby. These socks fit her perfect. So I looked at the baby clothes and 
almost flipped. That baby doll wears a zero to three months or a newborn size. I think it's zero to three months she can fit. And so I go to the thrift store and pay 99 cents for doll dresses and things like that instead of the six and seven and eight dollars they want for baby clothes. But anyway, I picked these up. So I thought those would be cute. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, where do I start with these? I about had a fit. Well, before I get to that, I do have two more bath things. All right, I hit, these right here are just really wonderful, a lot of fun. Rainbow dust, sparkling glitter, scented bath crumbles, bubbles, fizzes, and crackles. And I got this one for trolls. It says rainbow dust. I don't know if that's a combination. When I got these uh, previously, I got a frozen one and I was expecting white or light blue and I wound up turning the water red. It smelled good, but it was like taking a bath in blood. So I was like, yeah, no. So I have no idea what colors these are. Sprinkle two tablespoons of bath crumbles under uh, warm running water as the tub fills. Watch the water color and bubble. Rinse skin thoroughly with fresh, warm, soapy water after bathing. Okay. So you just need a few tablespoons of this. I, it, I wish they would tell you on the front what, it, what the fragrance is. Is it citrusy? Is it berry? Is it bubble gum? But anyway, she like we like making bath time a little extra fun. Okay, so y'all know how much I love socks. I went to a Dollar Tree and I haven't seen these in other places. In fact, I haven't seen this brand of sock since back to school. The gold toe socks. Now Christmas time, I was in J.C. Penney's and I saw the gold toe socks on the shelf. I mean, on the wall. This, be on the lookout for these. I saw so many. I think these are the men's. Okay, maybe not. Are these ladies? Does it say ladies? Oh, yeah, it's ladies. Max Spun Gold Toe Brand, three pair. So these are athletic socks. They're thick. Oh, my gosh. They're thick. They're spongy. These are so comfortable. And I just got back from a workout. Okay, and I'm, I'm wearing some pretty good socks. I am stunned at how good these are. The price on the back, does it have a price on the back? This one doesn't have the price. Some of these others do. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. These are the Gold Toe Max Spun, and you see the little line there for the Gold Toe. All Pro. A Gold Toe brand. Okay. All right, so there's these. That's one type. Then I found these, gold toe, three pair, it says $14, okay, now I don't know if these are made for adults or if they are made for children because they had, I'm going to open them up so I can take a look, I'm shocked, I'm stunned, I was like, what? I was throwing these into the basket. Okay, these might be for kids, which means my granddaughter will have some nice long socks to go up to her knees. Yeah, there's no way I could wear that. What does it say on here for sizing? That was the thing I couldn't figure out. But anyway, this looked like it was a child sock. I grabbed them anyway because I like her having nice socks that she can wear that are sturdy. I'm not done. <clears throat> I had no idea that Gold Toe carried little frilly lacy socks. Three pair. Three pair of lacy Gold Toe socks that are really good quality. I mean, that. look at that lace. Okay, that's one type of lace. Oh, and then there's a regular sock. And then there's this, this type of lace. Three different types of socks. The price on this is $10. We paid $1.25. Now this is S, small, and that fits shoe size three to eight and a half. And she's right in that range. I think she's in a size seven, maybe a size eight. So I got two of these because I'm like, yes, yes. 
spandex for the perfect fit and it does looks like it comes in small medium and large okay yeah not done then i found these pink three pair once again i don't see a price and i'm thinking oh shoe size nine to one and a half okay this is a child's sock so just like these all right except they're pink so these will be nice little knee socks that she can wear with a cute little dress three pairs of pink all right so my granddaughter is raking in the nice little socks then we found then i found these these are adult socks fourteen dollars Shoe size six to nine. It's got the, the gold toe there. This is the non-binding crew. They look a little small, but there's a, a cream, a pink, and a beige. Spandex for the perfect fit reinforced toe. Okay, look at that. 14 bucks, dollar twenty-five. I'm not done. Then we found the Gold Toe Casuals 3-Pair Ultra Soft Turn Cuff. Okay, there's a little gold toe. Now look at these. These are soft. They feel amazing. 3-Pair. These are also marked at $14. I'm not done. Then we have the Tech Sport, three pair. Okay, these are real cushy. These are marked at $16. Arch support, diamond mesh top panels, seamless everwear toe. These Tech Sport performance socks feature arch support for secure fit and a modern sport shape that fits right under your ankle. Mm -hmm. Mesh top panels allow cool airflow and excess technology rebound yarns provide advanced cushion resiliency. Okay, and then there's the little. Okay, and I've got one more. Is that one more? Yep, one more. Gold Toe Casuals, three pair. Look at these. You have this pretty black and gray floral. You have the regular beige, and then this one on the back. Jackpot, and these are marked at $16 also. Fit shoe size six to nine, which I wear 10, but I haven't had any problem wearing those. I have to say, feeling wise, these feel like they're my favorite, but design wise, that last one. And then the sports, look at these for my granddaughter. And this one I'm sure is for adults, but they look awful small. I'll have to look at them. Let me, let me take them out. <clears throat> I mean, jackpot, jackpot. These are expensive socks, guys, and they're high quality. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's an adult sock. That's an adult sock. Mm-hmm. I don't know what else to say. You like wearing cute shoes? That was a jackpot. Then I went to another Dollar Tree, which I'm getting ready to go into that bag because I it was just, I mean, that's almost $50, right? There was $43. Oh, and I did find another um, Believe eyeshadow. This one is lighter. This one is called Dahlia. And I am wearing the Innocence eyeshadow right here on my eyes. That dark one I had, but I love these these little pots and that little shape. Although that symbol is giving me a coneheads kind of vibe. Remember the little symbol that they had on their stuff? I don't know. Oh, that's once again, this feels so velvety. This has a nice gold sheen to it. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe not. Yeah. Yeah. So 
wrong place to put that because it does look like a bruise. Okay, so then I went to the Dollar Tree that's closest to my house, the one that opened up in July. And I just went just to just to look to see because it'd been a while. And I this the this one Dollar Tree, I went to it in my week of Shop With Me's. I think it was my third Shop With Me, day three of the Shop With Me's. But it's it's another one that's pretty close by my house. I'm lucky. I've got like five or six dollar trees that are within a five mile radius of my house so and then you got the one that's 10 miles that i love that's got the big volumes anyway this is at my dollar tree that's the closest to my house i couldn't believe it they got some new stuff in there <clears throat> first off the heart marshmallows i got these for my hot cocoa bar because it's still cold outside and people still like cocoa and these are cute and adorable I'm probably going to get another bag of these just because I know my granddaughter is going to go ape when she sees these. Uh, natural color and flavor, which tells me I'm assuming there's some kind of a fruity flavor because the Christmas ones were fruity. So it looks like there's pink with white centers and white with pink centers. So that's cute. It's going to be nice. Um, I saw this in the toy section. It's just a basic ball, but I cannot get over how nice and Firm and hard this ball is. It, they said it's a sponge ball. Jaru of out of Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, I got pink because my granddaughter loves pink, and I figured this would be a fun little thing for us to play with this weekend. They had all kinds of colors, but I just picked up the pink. And then I saw some Easter stuff. Look at this. These are gift bags. This is burlap. This is fabric and it's a drawstring. <laughs> what? This is so stinking cute. I just, I can't even, I can't even. This is spring. I love that it isn't plastered with Happy Easter or even bunnies. You know, this could be spring or summer. This could be for I mean, this is so stinking adorable. I just, <clears throat> I was tempted to get more than one, but why? I've got one granddaughter. I can fill this with some goodies for her for Easter or for spring or whatever. And then as I thought those were the only three things I was going to get or the only two things I was going to grab, I went over to the book section and what did I spy? Now I have to say, first of all, I started seeing these Disney comics little figures. I, I follow a couple of channels that do blind bag openings. And I was like, Disney comics, what is that? And then it was a few couple years ago, I noticed there were some Disney comics in the Dollar Tree. So I was like, okay, well, let me look. And it's they're adorable. They're so cute. This is issue number five, if you can see that. Okay. I have issues one through four. And they usually show you on the back the other issues in the same series. Now, I have to say, I did not find Toy Story issue number five because that's the issue number four cover. And that's the issue number four cover for Mickey Mouse. All right. I don't know why. Oh. Okay. Anyway, this is issue number five. And it features stories with Rapunzel, Ariel, Mulan, Merida, Aurora, Snow White, Belle, Pocahontas, and Tiana. Which is so cute. I'll show these to you. The figures. This is... You have a quick little comic strip about Snow White. A quick one about Pocahontas. And this is a one that's a little bit more involved with Rapunzel. All the way up here. That's where it finishes. And then you have a quick one about Belle with Gaston. Quick one with Ariel. Rapunzel, Mulan. These are just so cute. And this is one, this one with Mulan goes on for a few pages. But I love it. Here's Merida. Cinderella. Let me 
which one is this? Oh, this must be Aurora. Yes, this is Aurora. Yep, goes on for a few pages, which is nice because I haven't seen any stories with Aurora. And then here we have Tiana. I just love this. I absolutely love it. It's so cute. And then Pocahontas again. These are, look how cute these are. Look how cute these are. I mean, and then here's more with uh, Rapunzel and Merida. I mean, it's, these are precious. I love these. I've got, every time I look for them, I look to see if the next issue's out. Uh, we also have Mickey Mouse, issue number five. And this has fun stories with, there's usually like two or three stories that are in here that are a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay. If you like comics, okay. There's a Frozen one. This is issue number five. And this always has really cute stories. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to read these cover to cover. I am a dork like that. Love comic books. Explore. These are just so much fun. I love getting my Archie comics, which I still look for them. Look how cute these are. I loved, uh, I grew up with, um, oh, there's an issue six that's going to be coming out. Hang on. Yep, there's the next issue. Let me see what this one looks like. Yep. And that's issue number six for them. I'm glad they give you a preview of the cover. Um, I loved Little Lotta. I loved uh, Wendy the Witch, Casper the Friendly Ghost. I'm trying to think of all the comic books I used to collect and read when I was a kid. Of course, all the Archie, all the Sabrina. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones. Archie was my main one that I loved. And I still love Santa Claus will put Archie comics in my book all the time. I found Disney DuckTales issue number one. I've never seen this, but I'm noticing on the back, it's got issue number five covers. So this must be new. And I loved DuckTales when it was out in the 90s. I loved turning that on for my kids. That one and the um, Tailspin with Baloo. I loved all of those. I can still hear the theme songs in my head. I liked them just as much. I love cartoons. But I can't wait to read this because this is new. That would be neat if they did DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, and Tailspin in comic book form. I would love that. Oh, my gosh. But anyway, <clears throat> that's my haul. I hope you liked it. Be on the lookout for some of these things yourself. Uh, you know, this is, I mean, if you're a comic book lover... You're a Barbie girl like I am, <laughs> or you're just looking for some of the basic fun stuff. Check, check it out. Comment below and let me know if you're finding any of these things in your, in your Dollar Trees. Uh, and let me know what you think. All right. Make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell. And you see how I move swiftly from that awkward silence into ending this. <laughs> Thanks for spending a little time with me. God bless you and bye until next time.